In the previous lecture, we calculated average load current and average load voltage for full wave rectifier. Average load current, average load current was equal to twice of I m divided by pi, and average load voltage was equal to twice of V m divided by pi. In this presentation, I will calculate RMS load current and RMS load voltage for full wave rectifier. RMS is an abbreviation for root mean square. First we will calculate the square of the load current, then we will calculate mean of the square and finally we will calculate square root of the mean. Let's say the load current is equal to I, the load current is equal to I and we already know I is equal to I m sin omega t sin omega t when omega t is from 0 to pi when omega t is from 0 to pi I will first calculate the square of the load current the square of the load current then I will calculate the mean of I square by integrating it from 0 to pi with respect to omega t this is the mean of I square and finally we will calculate the square root and this is equal to I R M S the R M S value of the load current I square is equal to I M square sine square omega t so in the next step in the next step we have 1 by pi integration 0 to pi I M square I M square sine square omega t d omega t i m square is constant so i have to integrate only sine square omega t i m square by pi integration 0 to pi sine square omega t sine square omega t d omega t integration of sine square omega t is not possible directly so I will use the formula of cos 2 theta cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta so sine square theta sine square theta is equal to 1 by 2 1 minus cos 2 theta here theta is equal to omega t so we have sine square omega t equal to 1 by 2 1 minus cos 2 omega t in the next step I will replace sine square omega t by 1 by 2 inside the bracket 1 minus cos 2 omega t let's do this quickly I will integrate 1 and cos 2 omega t individually 1 by 2 this 1 by 2 is constant so we have I m square divided by twice of pi inside the bracket integration of 1 with respect to omega t is equal to omega t because integration of constant let's say integration of constant a with respect to dx is equal to a x here we have omega t in place of x and 1 in place of a so we have 1 omega t which is equal to omega t integration is from 0 to pi minus integration 0 to pi cos 2 omega t d omega t 1 by 2 now I will integrate cos 2 omega t let's say 2 omega t is equal to x so twice of d omega t is equal to dx here we have integration of cos 2 omega t 2 omega t is equal to x so I can write integration of cos x integration of cos x d omega t d omega t is equal to 1 by 2 dx from here we have d omega t equal to 1 by 2 dx so I will replace d omega t d omega t by 1 by 2 dx 1 by 2 dx integration of cos x is equal to sin x sin x x is equal to 2 omega t so finally we have 1 by 2 sine 2 omega t this is the integration of cos 2 omega t so we have minus sine 2 omega t divided by 2 lower limit is 0 upper limit is pi 1 by 2 in the next step we will put the lower limit 
and the upper limit lower limit is 0 upper limit is pi first we will put the upper limit omega t is equal to pi minus sine 2 pi divided by 2 minus omega t is now equal to 0 minus plus here we have sine 0 sine 0 by 2 1 by 2 sine 2 pi by 2 is equal to 0 sine 0 by 2 is equal to 0 so finally we have i m square divided by 2 pi multiplied by pi this pi pi and pi will cancel out and finally we have i m divided by root 2 this is the value of i r m s the root mean square value of the load current i will use it to obtain different parameters the first parameter that i will obtain is rms load voltage this rms load current is same for bridge rectifier and center tab rectifier the next thing is rms load voltage we have already obtained rms load current rms load voltage vrms is equal to i rms multiplied by r where r is the load resistance i rms is equal to i m divided by root 2 multiplied by r i m multiplied by r is equal to vm vm so we have vm divided by root 2 as the value of vrms so these are the two things that we had to calculate in this presentation in the next lecture i will calculate the form factor and the ripple factor for the full wave rectifier